down here at IRI with one of our rookie teams here, Super Duper Robotics 7457. I'm here with Xavier and Andalise, and we're going to talk about more about their robot here on behind the bumpers. Have a, a cool intake both on the hatch and cargo, uh, a great uh, level three hab climb as well too, and some other neat features we'll talk about in their season. Uh, so Xavier, you're going to start us out here with uh, the cargo intake. All right, so our cargo intake is, it only has one actuation. So these wheels, these wheels spin uh, in and out to intake a ball here. So um, we have to get balls from the feeder station, but um, we run really fast cycles with the cargo and uh, we designed this system in about three days and we built it in about another three days. So which I think that's pretty cool. Um, given it, the simplicity of it. That's going to be kind of a common theme as we talk about this team here in regards to, especially as a rookie team, the simplicity and the efficiency uh, that this team has as well. So I'm going to pop up and over here. We're going to talk about the uh, hatch panel intake. So our hatch system, I re redesigned it after our second district competition in the two weeks before our state comp. And it actuates in and out of the robot and pulls in the hatch with the compliant wheels you see, which it's pretty efficient as at pushing it onto the cargo ship and the rocket and keeping it on there. So uh, we're going to talk about the back here in just a second, but I do want to uh, ask you, by the way, uh, about the season. So you guys are a rookie team coming here, here from Indianapolis as well, too. Uh, and you guys had such a fantastic season with two district uh, wins as the Alliance captains as well, too, which is absolutely incredible uh, for a rookie team. So uh, as you approach this year as a rookie team coming in, what, what kind of approach did you take? How did you make such a great robot in your first year? The approach we took is to keep everything as simple as possible, but be able to do what we were planning to do really well. So we bagged up a robot with a Velcro hatch system, and then after that we just kept improving it. We created the cargo system, we added on things from that, we kept improving after each competition. We'd go over what our strong suits were, how we were followable, what we could improve on, how we could make the robot function better and score even better. And so we just kept going and going throughout the season. And it obviously worked out quite incredible. Also here at IRI as a rookie team, only one of two teams that are rookies here at IRI. Uh, we got one more component to wrap up with while we talk about it. Well, we got to move the robot a bit. I think we got tilted on the side too, as safely as possible, of course. So they got a big level three hab climb here that we'll see on the bottom. And Xavier, why don't you uh, tell us a bit more about this as we get it going. So our lift is, it's a four bar lift and it's ran off four red line motors on a 650 to one gearbox in here. And both those gearboxes are chained to an axle down in the lift. And then that axle is connected to the bars that move the plate on the back. So, sure. Yeah, here comes Xavier. All right, all right, so they're, they're gonna run it. Right. So we have these pneumatics here that help assist the lift at the start, because one of the problems we were having is the lifts had a hard time getting off the ground uh, to start. So we added these pneumatics, which give it an extra 10 inches uh, boost off the ground. Well, Super Duper Robotics looking uh, just uh, such a great season this year. You think about rookie teams, you think about some of the great rookie teams that have been out there. Uh, I think about like a team like 4334, and this team definitely reminds me of the amazing uh, simplicity and efficiency that they bring as well. So great season this year, guys. Can't wait to see what comes out of you more in future seasons. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.